In Business Africa, in association with Boer Group, unlocking opportunities. Welcome to In Business Africa. I'm Nancy Kachingira in Accra, Ghana's capital. Africa has the world's youngest population and today we're looking at businesses around the continent that cater to children. Here's what's coming up. We hear about a Nigerian entrepreneur who's built a multi-million dollar toy manufacturing company. Why a growing number of artists in Zambia are creating content for children's television. And find out what it takes to organize a children's party here in Ghana. People want more and more for their kids and they just want to like do it in a really nice way. African economies are growing and so is the continent's population. Children around the African continent watch cartoons created from stories that are mainly written in the West. That narrative is beginning to change though, as more and more African writers start to create content for children's television. One man in Zambia, Benjamin Weir, is among those writers who are trying to create more content that African children can watch and relate to. Benjamin Moya is passionate about creating cartoon content that Zambian and African children can relate to, stories that have local names and deal with local issues. If you were to ask me to tell a story, I'm going to tell you a story of how I understand things and where I come from, my experiences. I'm going to uh, manufacture it in a way to entertain you, of course, but that will have a signature of how I interpret certain situations. If we were to encourage young people or other writers to simply tell their story, maybe that would balance the foreign content, local content imbalance. The cartoon that Benjamin has created is called Hakumbila. It is educational, partly aimed at addressing issues to do with hygiene and health, among others. He who drinks from the fountain of water who have good health. Good health? I'm here with a lovely group of boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. So I'm going to ask them what they think about Hakumbila, the historian, and then they're going to tell me what they think afterwards. So let's do the screening. What do you think? I like it. Okay. It's funny. They all have very, very, very funny names. Okay. Benjamin has also another passion, teaching. He shares his animation skills with students at a public school called Evelyn Hong College in the capital, Lusaka. Through teaching, Benjamin hopes that there would be more animators and creators of children's content. We need more people to be involved or to do animation so that we can easily collaborate and work as a team to accomplish even the simplest project. I have friends who are illustrators and they do beautiful illustrations and they can work solo. They can sit down on their computer, come up with concept art, build it up, color it up and they deliver on their own. But with animation, it's something which needs a team. So the business side of it w was dependent on how many animators can, can we team up with. Though the creation of cartoons in animation form in many parts of Africa is still in its infancy, there are a number of opportunities that skilled artists can apply themselves across a value chain. One of those is that of making storyboards. I've always been drawing. And after a while, I put some work together and created a portfolio and sent it to a number of uh, advertising agencies here in Zambia. And I got a call from one and they asked me to do some storyboard work. And that was my introduction to, to storyboards. And I've been doing that since then. Mostly, uh, work starts with a script. And uh, once a script is, is done, um, usually the director would need some form of visual interpretation of the script. And uh, that's where a storyboard artist comes in to help visualize what's written on the script 
and to also act as a sort of a map for the animator to reference on what shots to take, what camera angles to use for, for certain shots. So um, a storyboard artist is very vital in, um, in, in the pipeline of creating an uh, animation project. With the emergence of more and more uh, animations coming out, I think um, there's going to be need for more and more storyboard artists here. Yeah. I think there is um, a hunger for new content here in Zambia and globally. So I think as more content is created, storyboard artists will be needed. This will definitely uh, create more, more work for, for younger people. While many children across Africa are consumers of content created in the West, African content creators such as Benjamin and Black Rose, the artist, are waking up to claim a share of the global multi-million dollar children's entertainment industry. You lazy fools. Coco! 